There's definitely a target on Ted Cruz's back as we roll towards his reelection bid. And he's now facing another Democrat. I expect that there's probably gonna be quite a few people trying to take him down. But right now we have US House Representative for Texas, Colin Allred, civil rights lawyer, former NFL linebacker, who's gonna be going up against Ted Cruz. Here's a little bit of the video we rolled out for his announcement. When I left the NFL, I thought my days of putting people on the ground were over. Then January 6th happened. I remember hearing the glass breaking and the shouts coming closer. I texted my wife, whatever happens, I love you. Then I took off my jacket and got ready to take on anyone who came through that door. And Ted Cruz, he cheered on the mob. We will not go quietly into the night. Then hid in a supply closet when they stormed the Capitol. But that's Ted for you. All hat, no cattle. When Texans were freezing in the dark, he jetted off to Cancun. He'll do anything to get on Fox News, but can't be bothered to help keep rural Texas hospitals open. Spends months trying to whip up phony culture wars, but not a minute trying to raise wages or lower drug prices. The struggles of regular Texans just don't interest him. So look, I'm I'm still just now learning a little bit about Colin Allred's position on some issues. I've been doing some research on his positions on things like Medicare for all and all that stuff. But um, but I, I like that ad in that it both hits Ted Cruz for all of the reasons that he's such an embarrassment. Um, he's he's a coward. He's a liar. He you know is a political opportunist. But then also trans transitions back to the obligations that a senator should have to improve the life of those living in the state. So obviously we're not wanna hear a lot more about that sort of thing, a, a positive view uh, of the future, a plan for the future when it comes to policy from any of these candidates who are gonna try to take down Ted Cruz. But you can't run against Cruz and not mock the guy. He is eminently mockable. You know, what do you think? Yeah, that was a touchdown. Let me use the proper sports analogy since we're talking about a former <laughs> football player who certainly <laughs> is comporting himself much better than Mr. Herschel Walker did. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that 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 ad is everything. I mean, he really lays out a job. You took the words out of my cur I mean, a coward is the first word that comes to mind when I think about Ted Cruz and liar is the second. And certainly the representative made a great case as to why he should be unseated as the US Senator from the great state of Texas. That the voters in fact in summation really deserve much better yeah. than what they're getting from Ted Cruz. And I love that Cac the Cancun <laughs> reference that he made yep. when, uh, when Texans were freezing. And also this dude hiding in a closet, a pride closet <laughs> as the capital is <laughs> being stormed. Meanwhile, you got the representative saying, hey, I'm taking off my jacket. I done called my wife and I'm anybody that come through this door, baby, I'm ready. 100%. I, I like the, the all hat, no cattle. Yes. Um, yes. Um, now, in defense of Ted Cruz, he does have some kind of animal clutching his chin or what passes for a chin. It's just not a, it's not cattle. Uh, and so, look, I, I want to learn a lot more about Colin Allred. You know, I'm I not ready too. to like, yeah, I, I, there's, I'm not Michael Shore. There's hundreds of Congress people. I don't know about all their backgrounds or whatever, but I would love to have him on the show, learn a little bit about him and see, you know, what kind of uh, competition he's going to have inside of the Democratic Party. Hopefully we can have a good contested primary because gotta take down Ted Cruz. Not only because he's terrible and Texas deserves, as a person who lived in Texas for a number of years, I know that Texas deserves way better than Ted Cruz. Every state deserves better than Ted Cruz. But also considering the incredibly difficult Senate map in this cycle, the Democrats need every opportunity they can to actually pick up a seat. And so uh, we're gonna be reaching out to Colin Alred. I will just very briefly give you um, a uh, response from Nick Maddox, spokesperson for Ted Cruz, who says, Allred wants men to compete in women's sports, isn't serious about addressing the crisis at the border, wants to take away law abiding Texans guns and is soft on punishing murderers. Bottom line, Allred is too extreme for Texas. His voting record is completely out of touch. For over a decade, Senator Cruz has been leading the fight for jobs, freedom and security in Texas. Uh, no word on if Nick Maddox chuckled at all while reading that last section of the statement. But yeah, buddy, Ted Cruz, a real leader in any aspect of his life. And I love that they had in the ad that he's trying to gin up, you know, like fake culture wars. They led with he wants men to compete in women's sports. These are not serious people. They're not good no. people, but they're certainly not serious people. Any final no. point, Nina? They have nothing else to stand on. 
And it's not just Ted Cruz, this is the playbook for the entire GOP. So whether we're talking about US senators or GOP members in the House of Representatives or GOP members that lead red states like Texas yep. or Florida, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is their playbook, John, and they're hoping that people will be so confused and not pay attention to the real issues, which is their quality of life, their jobs, their communities, yep. for businesses, especially small businesses. What is the government doing to help those and lift up those small businesses? Or are they only answering to their corporate owner donors? That should be the debate, not this other stuff. So culture wars is all they have. And without that, they absolutely have nothing because they do nothing. You got states that are changing child labor laws, for God's sake, John, just for one example, scaling back protections for children in yeah. workplaces and these fools sitting up here talking about sports. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.